everything okay, John? Uh Uh-huh. Just great, honey. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I'm more starved than a woolly antelope. John, would you like to lead us in prayer? Huh? Say the blessing for us tonight. Oh, well, I'm just not that thankful. I'll just go ahead and... Jeffro, why don't you go ahead and say the blessing? Sure, Pa. Dear Lord, thank you for this bird we're about to stuff our yelping tummies with. Thank you for this day, and I ask that you keep you keep us safe through this whole week. Amen. Well, this is nice. Yeah. This really looks great, Mrs. Angus. Dig in there, Thomas. Make sure you leave enough for me, though. (laughs) (laughs) Tell me, Thomas, do you always pray with your eyes open? No, sir. I just had something in my eye. Well, Thomas, I'll have you know that that's... Well, you are sure to have been raised in a nice family, given your line of work. Surely you were raised with the appropriate conduct of closing your eyes while someone's saying grace. I think he said he had something in his eye. Mr. Ingus, why weren't your eyes closed while we prayed? What kind of back-talk nonsense is that? Just tying up loose ends. So, Thomas, how are things? Oh, just dandy, I suppose. Do you enjoy what you do? Yeah. Pays the bills. Out of my wallet. You see a lot of places, don't you? Yeah, I get around. Your place is actually the farthest in my rounds. Always gotta keep a lot of fuel on hand. In between solar systems, there's not a lot of people who can help you if things go wrong mid-space flight. Has something ever gone wrong? Not yet. Are there any exciting stories you might have to share with us? No, nothing exciting. It's really a straightforward daily commute. Do you enjoy the travel? Yes, I have to. It pays well. Better than the people at headquarters, actually. That's stationed just outside the asteroid belt, ain't it? Yeah. So why would that be? The farther I go, and the longer I go for, I increase my pay. It's relative to how much planetary territory I cover. So, you're what I consider to be more than frequent visits don't have a thing to do with those payments, do they, Mr. Clark? No, sir. I've been in this remote area of space for six months. As a matter of fact, I haven't been home since then. Yeah? Who writes your excuses? I'll bet you think twice about crossing that asteroid belt, let alone the street. I'm a businessman. Not a star hopper, Mr. Angus. And you know what else you are? A puny, floundering, pathetic little worm, inching your way onto my turf. We were doing just fine. The first settlers on this ball, till you and your sissy clan showed up in 20 years to point out inconsistencies, fallacies, property debts, which all translate baloney. I haven't let your opinions keep me from doing my job, and I'm not about to. Can you really blame me for that? Yes. I think you need more than my opinion. I think you need a punch in the face. John? I think a few bruises would do you some good. And the gall you have to show up here, agreeing to my wife's malicious schemes, eating my best foods. You thought you could come here and not expect me to punch in bits. Father, please. Th- Thomas and I... Stay out of this, Lily. It doesn't concern you. I think this does concern her, John. Mr. Angus, you only hate me because of my job. I'm not here for that. I'd like to work out whatever difficulty there is 
between us. You're right. Let's take this outside. John! If you're worth anything, you'll take this outside. With me. John! Don't do this! Are you really going through with this, Pa? You don't have to do this, Thomas. Yeah, well... I think I have to. Space Prairie. See the film at spaceprairie.com.